So this morning, um, I'm going to do a little photo shoot with uh, this Canon M50. Um, I brought my Canon M50, the Viltrox 23mm 1.4 lens, uh, and then I've got my Joel Can 81-inch uh, tripod. And for a POV camera, I've got my trusty old Hero 4. Yeah, Hero 4, you heard me. Uh, which I, I've been thinking about upgrading. And if you guys, it, it, you know, I've been thinking about getting that Hero 9. Um, and anybody watching this, if you have the Hero 9, let me know what you think of it. Because I've, I'm up and down on whether or not I want to get, uh, if I want to upgrade. I mean, I know it's a huge upgrade from the Hero 4, but I hear about all these bugs um, and, and uh, problems that people have been having with that, with that Euro 9. So anyway, I'm not sure if I want to get it yet. So if you would, if you have one, uh, let me know what you think about that. Yeah, the Hero 4. I've I've really <laughs> I've done a whole ton of stuff with this little camera, and uh, I've really enjoyed it. But that's not what we're here for today. Today I want to show you uh, uh, the picture quality on this on this lens. I am really impressed. Um, I bought the, this lens originally. I got it because I was doing product reviews. Uh, and if you guys watch my product reviews, thank you. Um, and uh, I wanted to be able to get some nice bokeh, some pretty shots, and some close up stuff with the product. So that's what I originally got it for. But I've had it on the camera, and I come out here and started taking some, some pictures. Uh, and I love taking nature pictures. I am just fanatic when it comes to being in the woods I love the mushroom hunt I like it I'm always in the woods so um, I found that this this really does real well like right now it's 6 30 in the morning it is June 19th um, 2021 and it's about 6 30 like I say 6 30 in the morning so I've got low light I've got the Sun coming up um, this thing this 1.4 aperture is just awesome when you know for the low light which just blows the kit lens away although I love the kit lens as well I've got the 15 to 45 kit lens and maybe I'll do another video on that later and you guys let me know if you want you want me to uh, I'm not a professional camera guy but uh, I love to take pictures and anyway let's let's get out take some photos um, this isn't anything about tech this morning I'm not a tech guy if you're here for tech information you come to the wrong place if you're here to look at pictures and hang out with me for a little bit going through the woods you got a good place to be, all right? So, let's go ahead and get to it. And uh, like I say, it's a little dark. This is, if you can see here, I'll go ahead and show you the type of woods I'm getting into. You can see it's kind of thick and underbrush. There's not a whole lot of color or anything. So I'm gonna have to search and find some good shots. But there's pictures everywhere. It's just a matter of looking around and, and seeing what you find. And everybody's eyes look at something else. You know, everybody's got a different uh, perspective. So hopefully you'll enjoy my perspective this morning for what I find and let's make a video. Yeah. All right, gang. So I set up for my first shot and uh, I'm using aperture mode this morning. Uh, probably do most of my shots in aperture mode. Right now I'm set up to 2.2 uh, uh, on the aperture. I've got an uh, automatic ISO. Um, what I've got shot or what I've set up for if you can see uh, it looks very flat on the uh, on this GoPro but if you can see right here there's a log laying out through here yeah and then the way I've got it set up on the camera I'm using that log as a leading line and then I've got these nice golden uh, brownish leaves that are covering uh, about a third of my page coming up on the uh, on the picture and then the rest is the nice green foliage with that nice morning sun just kind of coming in over top of it. Um, I like using the tripod because I just seem to get a lot better quality pictures when I do that and I've got it set up on a two second timer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this shot. This will be the first shot of the day, yeah? See what that comes out like. Let's move on, yeah? So I'm in North Carolina. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't think I did. And the wood section I'm in here, fairly small. Uh, so I'm not really concerned about too much as far as um, 
animal life that I've got to worry about. But there is, uh, I do need to, you know, be a little cautious. There is bear, uh, bobcats, obviously a ton of snakes. Uh, we see snakes all the time. Uh, but for the most part, um, it's just a matter of letting everything know I'm here and, and uh, being respectful of the woods, yeah? So let me move on through here and see what else we can find. All right, gang, so I just got set up for another shot, um, and I'll show you what I've done. So right here, I know it doesn't look like much, says it? But what I found interesting was this piece of wood right here. Yeah, that piece of wood. So what I've done is I've put that on my third spot. So I'm in that lower corner right here, yeah? If you can see on the camera. So let's go ahead and give that a whack, see what this one's going to look like, yeah? Perfect. All right, let's see what that one comes up with. All right, gang. So, set up for shot number three. Now let me show you what I got on this one. For this one, you can see where I've got the camera set up, yeah? So what I really like is how this moss, this beautiful green moss, is growing on this dead log. And the thing about it is, is it kind of fades in and out. If you look, at there's spots where you can see it, and then in it, you know, spots where it's covered with uh, ground foliage, all these pine needles and stuff. What I really like about this one is You've got this nice, beautiful green moss right here, and then you've got a pine cone almost leaning on it, you know, real close to it, with a couple other pine cones in the back and around where you know, they're everywhere, actually. But it just, I don't know, this one caught my eye. I thought it's gonna make a pretty picture. Uh, and you can see here on the camera what I've got set up. I also, I, I bumped my aperture up to 5.6 right here because uh, I want to get a little bit more. I don't want to really focus in on the moss. I want to get something around it as well. I want those pine cones to, to be seen. And it just contrasts really good with all that uh, uh, pine needles and stuff around there. So that's the shot. We're going to go ahead and see what this one comes out like, yeah? And I am going to focus right there on that moss just next to that pine cone. And that's it. Let's see what we got, huh? We'll go find some more. Really kind of hoping I'd see some uh, some fungi out today, some sort of mushrooms. And I've not uh, I've not come across a, there's a few conks here and there um, that I found, but nothing picture worthy yet. So just kind of. Slowly making our way through here and just anything that catches my eye, you know, and I, I like to look up, down, everywhere, because you never know, you might see some kind of a, a nice picture just up in the trees themselves, up in the in the tops. Ugh, another cobweb. Good grief. I think I've used this selfie stick for my for my GoPro more uh, today getting cobwebs out of my way than anything else. So far, I haven't seen any wildlife today, although I did come across some deer tracks and some droppings, uh, but that's it. Nothing, nothing to show signs of anything else. No squirrels, nothing. Even the birds are quiet this morning. It's been a very peaceful morning. All right, so number, shot number four. Actually, this is gonna be four and five. Four and five, because I wanted to show you something. The shot I'm actually set up for that I'm gonna take first um, which is right here. Again, probably doesn't look like much, yeah? But if you can see, uh, you've got, in front of the camera, you've got a mixture of green and gold leaves, yeah? And I kind of wish the sun was hitting that spot right there, but you know, I can wish in one hand and you know what in the other, so. 
Anyway, the way it's set up right now, I'm, I've got a nice shot of the contrast, the, the green and the brown against the forest floor. And then just to the left, you've got bare. You know, you see out here, so it's bare. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna take my shot first that I set up for, because I, I just think that's a pretty shot of the forest floor and it gives a nice uh, speckle of green through those brown leaves. And then I'm just gonna pan over uh, to the left there a little bit and take another shot of just that brown. And, and just to show the difference of what you can see by looking just, you know, 30 degrees one way or another. So let me go ahead and get this first shot. And again, I've got, uh, I stayed with the 5.6 on the aperture here because I want to get a little bit of everything and it just shows some pretty color in there. And I'm gonna, I, I have really no leading lines in this photo. All I've got is just straight trees coming up. So there's nothing really leading you into the picture other than maybe the green itself, yeah? Um, and I'm gonna come about two thirds up the page and I'm just gonna focus right there. Again, set on two second timer. All right, now let me go ahead and pan over here just a little bit. And just about, uh, probably 40 degrees to my left. And I'm gonna take another shot. It's amazing though, what you can see, you know, when you just kinda look to the left look to the right look up look down so yeah well let's see what this one turns out like and let's go find some more yeah so i'm starting to get a little excited we've got uh the sun's coming up it's getting up enough now to where it's if you can see here it's starting to to kiss down on this forest floor so i want to try and find some spots where i've got that sunlight coming down through the trees and just kind of focusing on one spot and hopefully find a picture in that type of an area. All right, gang. So, uh, what was it? What shot are we on? Six? Six. All right, shot number six. This might be my favorite. Now, I just mentioned I was gonna look for some sunlight kissing the ground, and guess what? It got cloudy just, just almost as soon as I said that. I started following the sun trails, and next thing I know, they disappeared. So uh, I did find a really good, interesting shot right here, though, I wanna share with you. So let's go ahead and get this one. Uh, now, if you can see just that, that clump right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, doesn't look like much, does it? But it depends on what perspective you're looking at it from. So I've got the camera set low down here. And if I haven't mentioned, guys, I really love this tripod. It is just incredibly versatile. But uh, whoop, whoop. all right, let me get you back over here. Uh, this one, I'm on 2.5 on my aperture. Yeah, I don't want to blur out that background. I just want to concentrate on these uh, pine needles hanging here. Because to me, that's that's just going to be a beautiful shot. And you've got the brown on the bottom. I've got a little green in the in the midsection, and then it comes into a little bit of light where we've got the skyline in the background. So it just it, it makes a nice, uh, pretty contrast, and, and hopefully a pretty picture. You guys will have to let me know. Yeah. So let's go ahead and. All right. Shot number six. Let's go see if we can find some more guys. Uh, I say guys, well, my wife kills me for that. Um, so if, if you all, let me just you all, uh, if you, <laughs> we'll count that as a blooper. All right guys, so another shot. Uh, this one is finally some fungi. Um, there's some conch growing along a dead log here on the ground. So let me show you that. Um, there's a dead log that's been here and there's just some little conks you know growing off of that some shelf conk coming off of that and then right over here <clears throat> we've got kind of a bigger one it's almost a circle so i thought well let me focus on that and uh, using the rule of thirds i'm putting that in this uh, left bottom corner 
and then I'm using the log itself as a leading line off this corner here to bring it into the picture, yeah? So let's go ahead and take this. I've got, again, so, you know, with the two, uh, two second timer. And on this, I'm gonna focus just on that. Yeah. All right, we'll see what that one comes out like, yeah? I think we'll try and find, uh, try and find one or two more shots. I don't want this to be a super long video. I don't want it to get boring and you guys leave me. By the way, thank you, uh, everybody, for joining me today. Um, I appreciate it very much. Um, if you would, you know I'm going to ask. It's that time, you know, before I lose you. Let me ask you to hit the like button. And if you like the videos, if you like anything about me and the way I do my things, uh, I do review videos. I've got some travel videos. Um, I just like making videos. So, uh, and hopefully they're entertaining enough for, for you all to enjoy. But uh, yeah, please feel free to subscribe. I would absolutely love it. Um, but let's go find a couple more pictures and put this video together for you, yeah? All right, gang. So I found the shot I was looking for. I got the sun in my face. I got some sun peeking through. I had to come back out in the open to get what I was looking for. But I think I've got it. If you look right here, you can see this leading line of sunshine coming through here, right? So it's just a peak, a strip of sunshine. And the rest is just speckled down through there and it's pretty much dark, but that sunshine is coming in on this limb right here. So I'm set up at 1.4 right here, yeah? And I'm gonna take a shot of this limb with that in the background, a nice blurry bokeh background and a little bit of this white right here is, is gonna be showing up where this dirt's kind of sticking up out of the earth. So yeah, I think it's gonna make a nice shot, guys. So let's go ahead and hit that before I lose my sunlight. And I am going to focus right here. Oh yeah. Let's see what we get out of that one. All right, I think that's gonna make a nice shot. Whew. So again, uh, I'll go find probably one or two more shots and then uh, probably get, you know, get to the point where we'll wrap it up. I don't want it to be too long. I don't want to lose you. Thank you again very much for uh, coming and staying with me this morning. So let's go, uh, let's go find one or two more. I'm going to make my way out of here since I'm already back out in the open. I think I'm going to find a couple shots maybe back out until I get to the street and then I'll wrap right. it up. So I'm set up for another shot. On this one, it's a landscape photo. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm doing on this one is, if you can see right here, uh, you've got these trees coming up here. You got the sunshine up behind me or ahead of it, but behind the picture I'm taking. And then you've got another uh, section of trees over here with a clump of green right in the center. And then I've set it up to where I've got the grass line as a leading line coming in. Yeah. I'm on F16 and I've got the ISO at 100 on this shot. So let's go ahead. We're going to focus in on our green. Yeah. Let's see what that does. So, I think this will probably be my last shot. Uh, but what I found here was uh, there's a broken branch. Yeah. So, you can see this tree here has got a lot of conch growing on it and just, you know, several years. Uh, and then at some point, it has broke off. Um, and left this this section sticking up so what i've done is i've set up on here uh i did i changed them i'm back to uh f stop is my is at two 2.0 now and still at 100 I, uh, iso and i've set it up to where the corner of of this branch is coming up for a leading line just out of the corner and the actual shot's going to be pretty much in the center um, and then it gives a nice blurry bokeh of the remainder of that branch, which is out just, just from it there. Uh, and then of course the, the, the green, and then you've got the sun again kissing down here on, on this. So I think it's gonna make a pretty shot. Let's go ahead and see what we get, yeah? All right. All right, gang, so that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed being out here. I love being in the woods, so I hope uh, hope you enjoyed being with me. 
If you like the video, please hit the like button. It uh, helps push it out through there with the algorithm and, and lets other people get a chance to see it. And uh, if you want to come back and see more videos like this, I'll be doing some more like this. If you have any questions whatsoever, please ask and I'll answer to the best of my ability. Um, other than that, much love and respect. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.